Shannon, everybody. Molly Shannon. They're very friendly. They're very happy to see you. They are, As I am myself. Aww. How lovely to see you. How are you? Craig, good. I'm so happy to be here. I, listen, we're very happy you're here. And I like the dog movie. But the, but the, cause I love dogs, but I, oh, you know. Do you? Yes, yeah. I do. I, li I don't like cats. Me? I do not like cats either. No, because you die in the house. The cat will eat you. You know that. Oh. <laughs> Is that right? Yeah, I, well, I made it up. But it sounds... <laughs> it's, do you, do you have dogs? Do you um, no, I did when I was growing up, um, but I don't now because I do, I, I'm allergic. Oh, that's yeah. going to be a great fun for you shooting a movie <laughs> where you're allergic to dogs. And, yeah, do you have, yeah. Do you, you have kids though, right? Um, I, oh, yes, I have kids. I have um, a three and a half year old girl named Stella and a two year, two -year old boy named Nolan. And oh. they're so cute. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, but they're going to want you to get dogs. I know, they do. They want yeah. me to get dogs. As a matter of fact, when my son... Um, when um, Nolan was, this was when he was, you know, a, a few months old, I, I did, um, you know, I, I nursed him and I had a breast pump. I don't know if you're familiar with that. But, I have uh, a device which is similar. <laughs> <laughs> similar device. Well, a lot of people say, what's that here for? You don't need it. I think, well, it's, you know, better safe than sorry, I always say. <laughs> that is so funny. <laughs> <laughs> But anyhow, um, I, I just had this funny moment. I was doing this movie in Canada, and I was, I was, um, I had my little boy. He was like, you know, four months or whatever on the bed, and my little girl had a, a little bathing suit on with little shoes and socks, and my breast pump was, you know, pumping. I, I was pumping, yeah. <laughs> and my breast pump was making this funny noise, like. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I, and I've my had them before. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And my daughter got up and did like this little skip, like, dee, 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 like a little, like, <laughs> like a little, like a dance to the breast pump. Yeah. But um, but any. <laughs> It was just, it was so cute. Yeah. But also, sometimes late at night, I would be up. You know, you're nursing. You wake up every few hours, and you you get sleep deprived. And at night, I would hear the breast pump, and it would sound like it was it was saying things to me like, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. "You whore, you whore, you whore, you whore, you whore." I would I would hear this. You know. So, so you were sleeping while the breast pump was was on. Well, no, not sleeping, but you're just like so tired because you're yeah. not getting much sleep. So you right, you start right. to feel like you're hearing things. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Wow. Does it still talk to you, the breast pump, or is it... Um, no, I'm not. I'm not. You, you're, I'm, you're, I'm done, you're done. done. You're yeah. done with that now. Yeah, yeah I'm yeah, not yeah. one of those ladies doing mm. that too long. Yeah. <laughs> How long are you meant to go for, do you think? Um, mm, let me see. Well, let me see here. I don't know. I, I don't know either. It's, it's not, it's not <laughs> it's my area subject. of it. Although I was on The View yeah. during breastfeeding week. Really? Yeah. What was that like? Really odd. What? Yeah. <laughs> it was really strange because they had breast. It was like breastfeeding, breastfeeding. Now here's this guy, and I'm like, hey, hey. it's very, very strange. Listen, do you like acting with the dogs? I mean, even though you're allergic to them, did they? Did they give as actors? Were they good actors? Were they making the eye contact? Thing? Um, let me see. They, yeah, they were okay. The, the dogs were very trained, and it was it was easy. There's all these dog trainers around, and yeah. And, uh, yeah, people say, like, a lot of times they say, oh, don't do too many movies with dogs or kids because it can be so hard. Yeah. But I, I found it pretty good. The kids, Which better, kids or dogs? Uh, let you me know, not, see not in here. life, but just acting acting -wise. It depends. Like, a lot of times, um, the, the little girls on this movie, um, the girl in this movie is played by twins. A lot of times they'll do That's twins. That's good, yeah, I've seen that before. Or even up triplets. They triplets, yeah. yeah. Yeah, Or sometimes but, a whole, like, the 20 kids that all don't even look the same. <laughs> But you know in the Babe movie they used 16 different little piglets? Do they? Yeah, yeah or 11. Yeah, well, because they grow up so fast. Yeah, and also they're delicious. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Right, so you, the, the twins are playing the... The twins are playing the, uh, the thing. The twins are playing the little girl. I know, it's so stupid. I'm such a baby.
What the twins are playing the little uh, thing. ridiculous. Yeah, this is the craziest interview I've ever done. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> Welcome to our show. I feel like I'm true. Okay, the kid actors. Yeah, they were cute. Um, some kid actors are very. The girls in these movies were excellent, but I've done some movies where they're really like it's not so cute because they're very trained. Some of them are really like they're trained to be very people pleasing and oh, like yeah. oh, go say hi to Molly and they'll be like hi Molly you look pretty today Molly hi Molly bye Molly see you later Molly yeah. <laughs> you know that's not cute. that's not cute yeah. at all. that's scary that's yeah, scary yeah it's yeah. not good it's not when I do that to people they get upset. <laughs> It's no, if I, I sometimes, I feel uncomfortable, you know, around, it's not around the stage kids, but usually the stage parents. That's you know, interesting. Because they always would say, oh no, she loves doing it. It's like, she's two, you know. <laughs> she also yeah. loves pooping her pants, you know. I mean, yeah. no, I, mean I don't know. I don't exactly, know. too young to get into I shows. think a little bit. I don't, we have to take a break. We okay, have to okay. take a break. We'll take a break. We'll be right back with Molly Shannon, everybody. Molly Shannon, we'll be back. everybody i'm here with molly shannon who uh hey you used to be on saturday night live in case yeah. you've forgotten mm -hmm. are you are, are you're going to host soon, i'm hosting right? next week wow Ooh, yeah is that the first time first time back yep i'll be the second um female in history to return to host julia dreyfus is the first and i'm the second right yeah, yeah. so it's, it's a big deal that is a big deal yeah. and do you it's good because you can lord it over people who were there when you were a cast member <laughs> <laughs> I can just, oh. Yeah, just yeah. kind of go, oh, could you get me a coffee and stuff? You can do it. Can you, no. do, you can't do that. I know you? so many of them. They're, uh, they're so great. I love this cast, and I'm, I'm like, so excited to do it. Do you get nervous doing live television? Yes. Really? really? I do, yeah, yeah. How long were you on the show? Don't you, do you, you don't seem like you get nervous. Are you kidding me? I'm heavily sedated right now. <laughs> I, you know, the only time I got nervous doing live television is I did The People's Choice, and I just oh. I hated it. Did you? I did, because you give prizes to everyone else and you don't get one. <laughs> Garbage. It's like being some kind of, you know, kind of fancy waiter or something. Oh, you know, oh, can I, you know, here you are. And then, oh, you hosted it? Yeah, I hosted oh, that's it. That's so cool. That's a big, God, that's a big responsibility. Would you ever do that? No. Oh, you should. No, because that's more like stand-up comedians and stuff. I would be too nervous. I'm more an actress who does characters. So yeah. I would, I would well, be how nervous. are you going to be on Saturday Night Live doing the monologue thing at the start? I know, God, but the, that's, yeah, I, I, I. I guess because I was on it, I feel I just feel excited, and and it's just the monologue, and then the rest is character. So yeah. I, I don't mind. I can handle that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I and you, so. are, are you, you're from New York, is that? Where you're from I, I live in New York City with my family, uh, my husband and my kids. But originally, I'm from Cleveland, Ohio. I love Cleveland. You do? I do yeah. <laughs> really? I do. Yeah, yeah. What part of Cleveland are you from? Um, Shaker Heights. The posh part of Cleveland. It is, yeah. Oh, how do you know Shaker? Yeah, I, I, I got you some get history. Around. I get around. Yeah, you know, yeah. yeah I've been. Uh, I don't call it Shaker. I don't know it that well. I call it Shaker Heights. Yeah. You know, yeah. But, but, but I used to work with a guy, uh, a guy from Cleveland, Drew Carey. I used to work oh, with him. Oh, he's such a nice guy. Yeah, yeah. But I have, oh, I have a funny story for you. But I do. Okay. I take vacations because it's nice to get get outside of New York because it gets. You know, you get tired. I love it. Crazy, but I, yeah. I recently, I have a, a, a very good friend of mine, Heather Graham. She and I took a, she, she's a great girlfriend of mine. Anyhow, we took a little trip to, just a girl's trip to Capri in Italy, this beautiful island. Wow. And, you know, Heather's very beautiful and sexy and stuff. And um, we were just walking around, going shopping and stuff. And there was this guy who was, I don't think he spoke English at all. I don't know if he was Italian. But he just, he just started following us around and he looked at Heather and was just like, you know, captivated and he was like wow like just kept looking and then he kept following us around for like 30 minutes everywhere just at every corner being like wow like everywhere just following us it was crazy you brought that up <laughs> that's the end of the story you brought that up because it was me didn't you <laughs> i was like wow it was you, that's yeah. nice so you you and heather graham do you take little girls out we do we do do you, do you little uh, pillow, little pillow fights we do cut it out Come off on that. <laughs> Man, that is so great. Oh. That is, in fact, I can only say, wow. Oh. Listen, it, it's lovely to meet you, and, and good you. luck doing uh, Saturday Night Live. I'm sure you'll have a great fun with it. And, oh, and congratulations you. on the Thanks, movie. Craig, it's so nice to be on the show. It's lovely to come back to see you. Congratulations on all your success. Oh, God bless you. Mm -hmm. the show. <laughs> Shh.
<laughs> okay. My first guest tonight is a very talented actress. Stop it! <laughs> She's a very talented actress. She's got a new children's book, Tilly the Trickster, which is in stores now. Please welcome the adorable Molly Shannon, everybody. Molly Shannon. Get rid of this. I, uh, this is lovely. I, Thank you. Is this a book uh, about <clears throat> this girl? It's about that girl. People always ask if it's me, but it's really not. It's just about a little girl who plays tricks on her family and her schoolmates. And it's a little bit based on my father was like a real trickster when we were little. Um, but my kids, I tell them a story every night when they're going to bed, and they love the part. I, I used to make up. You shouldn't do that. <laughs> I shouldn't. No, no, because you, you build up their hopes that you, you're going to continue to do that I when know, you get older. True. Yeah, no, I know. You must it's like, go to bed. Yeah. From about a year old. <laughs> well, no, it's true that you run out of stories to tell because they keep wanting me to make up, you know, elaborate stories, and so it does. Sometimes I'm like, oh, can I, I got to think of another story? Yeah, you know, you know what you want is uh, you know who can think up stories all the time? Who? Larry King. Oh, you didn't give oh, him. Yeah. Give him, give him the name of a town, and he's off. Isn't that right, Jeff Larry King? Yes. Can I ask Tilly something? Sure. It's not Tilly, it's Molly. Molly Shan. It's Molly Shan. I know it's Molly. <laughs> So, sure, uh, you see, yeah. I'm in the mood for things, so I'm into the book. So I'm going to ask Tilly. The, oh, oh, you're going right, to ask yeah, Tilly. Oh, yeah, you can ask but Tilly. But Jeff, huh? do you want me to answer for Tilly? All right, I'll ask Molly. Okay, thank you, thank you. <laughs> I'll try to bring some coherence to this program. <laughs> Molly, is it hard to write for children in that there's a tendency to write down to the age? To write down to the age? Yeah. Hmm, what that's the hell? <laughs> This is not CNN a couple of years ago. <laughs> you son of a bitch, you've taken over. The robots become self-aware. <laughs> just stay out of it. Stay out, stay out of it. Okay. Stay out of it. Molly, is it hard to write for children? Do you find yourself writing uh, down at the age of the, the kid that you're writing to? No, I don't. I actually... I see? 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 So. Okay. <laughs> I should have Jeff come and read to the kids one night. Yeah, that wouldn't scare them at all. Yeah. <laughs> what age are you kids? Six and my son Nolan is six and a half. My daughter's eight. Oh, all right. My that's daughter's adorable. Stella. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's oh my lovely. God, it's the best. Yeah, I always run into you in the street when you're I going for know. your coffee. Yeah. With Liam. Yes, yes, yes. My son Liam. And yeah. Milo. Yeah, he's older. I know. I usually just send him to get his own coffee. <laughs> He's 10. He's 10. He's Take the car. Yeah. Take the car. <laughs> Does he drive? Uh, no, no, he can't drive <laughs> legally. <laughs> he's, got, he's got a scooter. Oh, oh okay. Yeah, That's yeah, good. Yeah. Do you let your kid? I don't let my kids out of my sights, too. You know, I don't do that now. You can't do that these days. No. 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 no, no, no. You have to be. Right, I'm always surprised when I see kids that age walking around by themselves. Yeah. Where do you yeah. see that, Molly? In that area. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do. Wow, no, yeah. I would never. No. Yeah. When I was a kid, though, you know, it was long. It's like, off you go and come back, you know, when the clocks change. Yeah, that's how Yeah. We <laughs> yeah. No, that's the way it was. That's how we were, too. We'd be gone for the day at the pool when we were really were, little. I thought you were from New York. I'm right? from Cleveland, Ohio. Oh. Yeah. Wow, that's the, hey, yeah. hey, hey, hey. Cleveland. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You ever been to Cleveland there, Larry King, Jeff? Sure. Who hasn't been to Cleveland? It's a great town. <laughs> Have you been there, Craig? They have teams, they have buildings, they have skyscrapers, they have the Indians, they have the Browns, they have the Clavaliers. They yeah, yeah. They don't have a major league hockey team. Oh. Huh? Well, I'm not going then, Jeff. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Have you ever had your own robot? Um, no. <laughs> Do you want one? <laughs> I'll throw in Larry King. You can have Larry King. And a robot. Does he do housework? Yeah, sure he does. Okay, maybe yeah, yeah. that. He'll tidy and, up a little uh, bit. Yeah. Do you, the, uh, do, you uh, do you uh, do your own housework or do you have a staff of servants? Oh, we have a, a big staff of servants. No, I do have. Um, oh, I have somebody who helps me clean. That right. is one thing that I. From when I started making money in show business, that is the one thing that I love that I can afford to have. That's what I'm going to do when I make a little money. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to get a little help. You clean. Yeah, because I leave here and I go home and I do the chores. <laughs> Yeah. Are you neat? 
You don't seem like you would be. Well, you saying I'm not neat? <laughs> no, I just, you seem like the kind of person would be like, can I have your clothes around a little Actually, bit? Actually, no, not true. Oh, no, I'm, that... I know, I'm very, very precise type of a person. I like things neat. I always like everything in a straight line. When I get up in the morning, if my pee is wiggly, I straighten it right out. <laughs> I thought we'd gone for a long time without me saying something like that, so I kind of threw it in. I guess your kids are about that, the age where they start doing that kind of a joke right now, aren't they? Not yet. Yeah. Not that sophisticated. It's sophisticated, is, <laughs> yeah, I suppose. Have your kids read the book? Yeah, they have. They read it, and uh, they really like it, and I think they're proud of it. Do you think they me. really like it, or are they just saying they like it because you... No, they're pretty know. honest. I asked my son, I was like, what do you think? Is he'll be like, thumbs up or thumbs down, and he gave it like a... Mm, he didn't give it a All full right. thumbs up. He was like that. They're, they're honest, yeah. Right. They seem to like it. I think they're um, they're proud that I wrote a book, and they're like, I want to write a book. So they, yeah, they think they think it's cool. Do you ever uh, do you ever read them the uh, the uh, Dr. Seuss books? Oh yeah, those they're are weird. amazing. They're, they're weird. They're books. They're they? unbelievable, yeah, but they're great weird. when you're learning how to read because they rhyme. Yeah, so they're, yeah, they're great. Yeah, yeah. No, they're too weird. Though. I don't let my kids read them. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't like any of that weird stuff. Right, Robot Jeff, who's got the voice of Larry King. I hate to add some uh, information to this program. <laughs> No, go ahead, man. Let's hear it. Please. Uh, Johnny Depp. I did a special with Johnny Depp, and Johnny Depp is going to do uh, the life of Dr. Seuss. The 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 reason, the comprehension behind that brilliant children's series, and I hope that Molly's book will enter into that class of books to rank with Dr. Seuss. I just try to bring some clarity to show. Back to you, Craig. All right. Crazy dream. No, no. Just, imagine, he's just gonna imagine like he's weird, Larry King, and I'm even weirder, Anderson <laughs> Cooper. That's what's happening. Okay. okay. <laughs> oh, you like that, didn't you? Yeah. That's all. Well, good luck with this book. I'm very excited Thank for you. you. That's You're lovely. You're so sweet. All right. Oh. Uh, what? Oh, what were you going to say? I was going to say we're out of time, but you can hang about if you want, because if you don't, I'll have to talk to the robot. Oh, okay. Uh, no, we are out of time, so uh, how do you want to take care of this? You want an awkward pause, a mouth organ, or go for the big cash prize? Um, I'll do awkward pause. Oh, really? Yeah. You don't I want the big cash awkward. prize? Oh, uh, what? No, no, no. That Would you prefer gonna... that I do big cash prize? No, 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 no. If you want awkward, you certainly go in the right way. Okay, but, awkward yeah. pause. Do you want a subtext in this awkward pause? Um, okay. Okay, I'm, yeah. trying, uh, I'm trying to sneak a look at your boobies. <laughs> Will you stop breathing now? Uh, breathing is called normal, you know. Uh, yeah, not, not for a robot. Robots don't breathe, so knock it off. So I'm going to do this show and die at the same time? <laughs> hey, I do it every night during the monologue. You can do it. All right, all right, we're doing the awkward pose, right? Molly, take us out. <laughs> thank you, thank you, all right. Jeff. <laughs> well, I think we achieved everything we had to there. <laughs> all right, Molly Shannon, everybody. is an actress! Woo! I know! <laughs> this isn't going to last long, is it? <laughs> nah. She guest stars on Enlightened, which airs the Sundays on HBO. Take a look at this. <laughs> Molly Shannon, everybody! Molly Shannon! See you. I normally I see you in the mornings. I, I see know. you in the morning. We get coffee at the same place. We do. Yeah. So we get to have coffee together. We do. <laughs> it's and nice. didn't you love that one coffee place? You said the, the best cup of coffee was another place down the street. I don't know. Oh yeah, Remember? yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, I, yeah, yeah very yeah, good. Yeah, I tried the it. Secret celebrity coffee place. <laughs> I like your dress. Thank you Is so that much. see through? Because I'm it's trying, but I'm not getting it. <laughs> like, it looks like it should be see through, and then when I'm like looking, it's like, wait, where's everything gone? No. It's <laughs> no, no, I don't mean that. I mean, you, 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 you can't see through it. It's like my eyes stop working when they reach the material. What happened? 
funny. The name of the designer, oh, it's called Bread and Butterflies. This amazing girl, Caitlin, made it for me. I love this dress. Yeah, it's nice. It's a little Valentine's dress. Um, but, um, yeah, no, there, there's a slip underneath it, so you can't see through. Oh, yeah, well. But anyhow, I feel so relaxed because I went swimming be um, before I came here today. Well, you swam? <laughs> swam here? <laughs> Where did you go swimming? In, a, I, in the ocean? <laughs> no, I went... You can't swim here. Oh, oh, no, you don't have a pool here? No, no, you... you. <laughs> <laughs> of course not. I'm a man of the people. What are you talking about? I don't have a pool. I live in a double wide. <laughs> With a pool. Small. Uh, no, I uh, don't swim in the ocean here is what I mean. Don't. It's polluted. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. it's like you're not really swimming. You're just kind of going through the motions, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Some people say my husband's a surfer, so he he does he is in the ocean a lot. But yeah, I don't swim in the ocean. Professionally? No, not professionally. He just loves surfing, so he goes a couple times a week. But I just swim at the pool at the YMCA. I've Ooh. swum at that pool. Is I, swum I the right it. way? Swum or swam? Swam. Are you sure? Swam. Swim. <laughs> no. I've swimmed there. <laughs> Did you enjoy the YMCA? I do. I love it. Mm. I just like it. You just see all, so many different kinds of people, and and swimming relaxes me. I love it. It just yeah, makes you me feel good. You seem a bit good. more relaxed. Yeah, good. Oh, yeah, How much feel, did you swim? Like I swam for an hour. What? I swim for an You've hour. You gotta watch that. That's too much swimming. You'll get, you'll get aqua soric. Uh, yeah, no, you're, you're aquanexic. That's what you'll get. Aqua, aqua nazura. Mm -hmm. Do you exercise? Craig? No, well, look at me. <laughs> yeah, I do actually. I've just got into this thing lifting weights up and down, heavy weights up and down. I lift them up and down. It's very, they're they're very heavy. <laughs> And after a while, it's pointless. Yeah. We're not taking them anywhere. Do you, you, do you do that every day? Yes. That's amazing. <laughs> Funny. It's good for your bones. Yeah, feel that, feel that. I'm doing this thing. Ooh, what? Yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Wow, you're really, no, you're muscular. Yes, I am. <laughs> You can't tell because I'm wearing a slip under this. <laughs> so you can't really tell. No. No, I didn't know you were a big exercise uh, sort of... I am, I am. It makes me feel sick. I, I'm a runner too. Um, I just feel like it makes me a calmer mother. Like, I, I love being a mom, but it just... Uh, Don't your children get upset when you run away or swim away from them? <laughs> yeah, they I'm don't doing like this that. to be a better mom! <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, they, they, they do get like that. They're like, why do you have to go running? But um, but they they understand too. But you have to get your kids exercise now as well because they don't get exercise in school. So you have to like chase them around with a broom or something that, <laughs> for an hour a day. Yeah, it's a, well. They at my kids' school they have yoga, so that's pretty what? Cool. Yeah. <laughs> what kind of pinko communist school are you sending these kids to? Yoga? Yoga, they do. <laughs> really? They do, yeah. See, see now, do you do yoga? No, uh, uh, no. I, I do not. Actually, this is crazy. I went to uh, the uh, little place in our neighborhood, and I took, I wanted a good workout. So I, I said, oh, yeah, I'll take that level two class. And um, the instructor said, came, and I, I was really impressed. I'm all, whenever I do take a yoga class, I'm impressed with how well people can stretch and do that. Sure, so, yeah, some of those yeah. people are so good. But the instructor came and tapped me, and he was like, are you sure you're in the right class? And I what? was like, ugh, I was so embarrassed. And then what um, a jerk. he was such a jerk. And then he, um, and then he, uh, I felt self-conscious. Like I thought, God, does he think I'm so terrible? Then we went to do a handstand, and he was like, What are you doing? And I was like, I'm doing a handstand. And he was like, You're not supposed to do it like that. And then uh, we, I said, You yeah, sure this was yoga? Yeah, this was yoga. Because <laughs> yoga is meant to be. It means union. It's like whatever it looks like on you. That's what it looks like. That's yeah, the whole idea you, of it, right? So, exactly. Right. So then I said, Why are you being so condescending? And he yeah. was like, I don't like the way you're acting. And we got in a big fight in the class. Yeah, really? And I was like, Yeah. Yeah. Dude, don't do that with your fingers. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm not going to yeah, do yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, That's as bad as saying artificial <laughs> anus. I was like that. <laughs> but my husband was laughing because he was like, you got in a fight at a yoga class? But I did. See, I have a theory about <laughs> yoga is that it's like, it should make you calm. Whenever I do it, it makes me calm, but when I look at other people who do it too much, yeah. I'm like, if you do it too much, 
makes you a jerk. <laughs> is that what I see? That's how this goes. I think it does. <laughs> I think what it, what happens is you bend and stretch just beyond, like you get to a point that's the right point, and if you go beyond that, you right. turn into a sanctimonious, uh-oh. <laughs> and you have to be careful. <laughs> it's really a thing, though. Is it? Just over the edge. I think so, because like people who do yoga and just like get on with it, that's one thing. I mean, it's a fantastic thing. How could you be against yoga? It's beautiful and, 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 and healthy and lovely. Right. But then you get the people that go, well, I don't know, because I do yoga. And I'm like, I didn't even I can have ask you. <laughs> you know. yeah. Is that all right to say that? No. <laughs> I like how you can say you know, it. You know what I mean? It's I like, do. It's like people get, it's, oh, I don't, it's like yeah. the Dave Matthews band. Yeah. <laughs> I like the Dave Matthews band, but if I meet other people that like the Dave Matthews band, I don't like them. <laughs> Isn't that weird? Yeah. It's like the Woody Allen, like, you don't want to be a member of a club that would have you as a member. That, uh, Groucho right. Marx. That was oh, Groucho, Groucho Marx. Yeah, Woody oh. Allen was the take your daughter to work day. That was a different <laughs> day. That was a different day. <laughs> Good. Do you play a musical instrument? Um, I, I played the piano when I was younger because I like the piano teacher. I, I, did, I wasn't that interested in piano, but the piano teacher would wear these silky blouses and I like when I would sit next to her on the thing and I like when she would, when her silk would brush against my cheek. I was like, ah, oh. I loved, <laughs> I like Mrs. Gold. I liked her. <laughs> I only asked if you played a musical instrument. <laughs> Well, anyway, we're out of time. Okay. So, uh, do you want uh, do you want to throw frisbees at the horse? Do you want uh, some uh, coconuts? Do you want your own name tag from the coconuts? Place? Oh, right, Co coconuts. Yeah. You, okay. Okay. Well, you, you just want them? I want to um, uh, drink one. You want to drink a coconut? Well, you got to open it first. <laughs> You want me to be a rational robot? Yeah, yeah. Imagine, imagine you're Mitt Romney or something like that. Good. Yeah. All right. I, first, I have to tie my dogs to the top of my car, <laughs> which is what he did, by the way. He did that, did he? He drove once. That's true. He drove once. That's true. He, uh, he drove once. He drove to Canada. The car was full of people, and he tied the dogs to the top of the car. Well, that is that, that's outrageous. And, and did the, how did the dogs get into Canada? Don't you need a passport for that or something? I think he got them in. I, he must have gotten them in. They got, I don't know how they got back. But I know they went in. That's a true... You're laughing. It's a true story. <laughs> I don't know if they got back. Did they ever get back, the dogs? Maybe they blew off the top of the car. What kind Maybe, of dogs were they? How the hell do I know? <laughs>